The two-story house at 307 North Vine Street is listed at the courthouse as having been built in 1890. However, oral history suggests there may actually be two construction dates. Eva Larson, daughter of two first-generation Swedish immigrant parents, occupied the house the longest. She told this story to Jana Tolsteed, who bought the house from Miss Larson, age 87, in 1995. Mr. Larson was a railroad engineer. Miss Larson's father built a one-story house and later tore down the front of that house, leaving only the kitchen, which was on the back. Then a four-square, two-story Victorian-style house was built onto the front, with a door connecting the two different sections. The kitchen had only a crawl space underneath, but a basement was dug for the two-story house. It was originally heated by a coal-burning stove in the basement. At that time, the only water supply was in the kitchen sink and small adjacent bathroom. Eva had brothers who also worked for the railroad. You can see where their heavy boots hit the risers of the steps going to the second floor. Eva and one of her brothers remained in Creston long after family members moved away after the 1923 railroad strike in Creston. She was active in her Swedish Lutheran church a few blocks north of her house. Neighborhood children visited her often and were allowed to play store using the canned goods in her pantry. Jana Steed, a United Methodist minister, came to Creston to study music at Southwestern Community College and saw the potential in the house, which needed attention, but retained its architectural integrity. She spent 23 years restoring it to the present condition. Initially, the house was rewired since only a 60-watt bulb hung from the bedroom ceiling for light and there were no wall sockets for electrical conveniences. Changes to the exterior colors were made from soft gray to moss green, iron framing and accent colors of red and teal. The front door detail was brought out by all the colors being applied with a watercolor brush. The walls were smoothed and the stairwell and first floor bedroom were papered with vintage appropriate wallpaper. The biggest project was naturally the kitchen. Janice Steed was raised in Arkansas and developed a lifelong love for classical and jazz music from her musical parents. Her passion for jazz centered around Duke Ellington's music and she performed a Duke Ellington concert in a local church. Jana gave occasional jazz concerts and dinner parties in her home.